Hey guys, my name is Andrew and today we are back with another video. Today we are going to be doing a review on probably the most asked about product that's on my truck. This is the Alpine Halo 9 head unit, otherwise known as the ILX F309. This is a nine inch touchscreen head unit that attaches with a single den attachment point. Uh, I've had this on the truck about a year now, uh, so I think it's pretty fair for me to give my input on it. So let's dig into this thing. Now this is, in my opinion, I think probably the best head unit that it's on the market right now. Um, it is a nine inch touchscreen with a single DIN attachment point. Um, so this is a massive, massive touchscreen that you can put in a huge array of cars because of the way it attaches. So it is a single DIN attachment point that basically just slides in like your standard single DIN head unit. And then the screen attaches to that single DIN attachment point. Um, now for those of you that are thinking that it's flimsy or not up to the task, uh, this truck does do some pretty serious off-roading. Uh, I haven't had really any issues. Um, one thing that I did have to do though is where the head unit slides on to the single DIN body of the uh, thing. It's a plastic on plastic interface there. And I was getting a little bit of squeaking out of that. So I actually put some painter's tape on there uh, in that attachment point so that the plastic wasn't rubbing on other plastic, it was on the painter's tape that got rid of my entire squeak issue. So that was the one thing that I've had to do for this head unit because I do off-road the truck. Other than that, it has been incredibly durable. Now, in terms of features, this head unit has an HDMI input, US, multiple USB inputs, uh, and an aux jack for headphone jack input. Uh, it has a USB like DVD input as well. Um, so you can pretty much do everything you want. It also has a backup camera input uh, too. Now, the one catch is that all those ports are on the back of the head unit. So if you want to access them, you have to allow for those while you're putting in the head unit or come up with some sort of port system on the dashboard of your truck. Now for me, I only wanted one USB. I wasn't going to bother with the aux jack or anything else. So I replaced my outlet with a USB plug. Um, Crutchfield sells those, that's where I bought this head unit. So you can get those and it just literally slides in right where your uh, lighter used to be and it's a full USB port. Uh, so that's what I use to plug in my phone for CarPlay, et cetera, et cetera. Now I also have a Alpine amplifier behind this one. It's their compact amp. So that's back in the dash there behind that. And then I have Polk speakers in the doors and a sound ordinance sub underneath the passenger seat. So that kind of completes the whole setup on the stereo system. I did all of that at the same time and it was a huge quality improvement in terms of sound uh, out of the truck compared to the four door speakers that I had before. Um, now that sound ordinance sub will fit underneath the passenger seat, but only if you pull out your spare tire tools. Uh, in terms of backup camera, that is actually one of the huge benefits of having such a large screen is that my backup camera is now viewable on a nine inch touchscreen. Uh, so I have guidelines for parking the truck and then you also, what's really helpful, have trailer hitch guidelines. So I can see exactly where my hitch is going to line up with the trailer on a giant screen. That is a huge improvement over having the backup camera tied into my Edge Insight, which is what I had before. Now, in terms of entertainment options, which is why you got this head unit, um, what you do get on this head unit is obviously all the built-in stuff, right? This head unit has its own software for playing music, going through all that stuff, but you get CarPlay. And what's cool about Apple CarPlay is that it's constantly updating. So with each software update that Apple sends out, you get new features. Uh, and one of the cool new features that they did most recently was a split screen design uh, when on the home screen. So aside from being able to have a one app at a time, you can have a split screen design where you can have maps, your guidance for your maps and your music all on one screen. So you can change songs and see what's playing as you see directions turn by turn and get commands. So that's been really cool and helpful. Um, I really like that layout, especially on road trips where I'm trying to navigate and listen to music at the same time. And what I really like on this head unit is that you have that nine inch screen for viewing maps. So when I'm driving out in the middle of nowhere, I can zoom in on the map. I can see roads that I might've missed. I can see roads I didn't even know existed. Uh, and so it's been a really actually cool navigational tool for me when I'm out camping out in the desert. Basically, as long as I have GPS service, I can use that to track where I'm going, figure out different roads, or I can preload maps on my phone. Aside from that, I've just been really happy with this head unit. Uh, the size of it, um, I think the fact the way that it integrates into the truck, everything about it has been awesome. It's a really great way if you have an older vehicle to kind of modernize it. You get full CarPlay, Bluetooth, everything else, uh, big touch screen, uh, full you know, interface with all of your fun apps, whatever music, everything you're listening to, uh, and it bolts right in. You don't have to do any cutting of your dashboard. Uh, and it's purpose built. Now, a lot of people will do iPad dashes and stuff like that, but they're not designed as a head unit, right? You're giving up features 
Uh, and so with this, you get a literally comparable touchscreen quality to an iPad, but with a head unit that's actually purpose built and designed as a head unit, right? It's made to have multimedia coming into it. It's made to have an HDMI port. It's made to be in your dashboard and have a backup camera and stuff like that plugged into there. So people have asked me why I don't have an iPad dash. One, I really hate that they are custom made. They never hold up well off-road, stuff like that. Two, I like something that's purpose built. And this is a purpose built thing um, for having multimedia on your dashboard or your truck. Now, if you're going to be asking me, will this fit in my truck? Um, what's cool is that this head unit is able to be adjusted up and down uh, so you can move where the screen is uh, in relation to the mounting point and you can also tip it forward and back. So that will give you access to air conditioning vents, whatever else, you know, all these different vehicles have different dashboard layouts. So if you have vents above where the um, head unit is normally sitting, you can slide it down. If you're here like me and you have a cubby underneath, you can slide it up so you still have access to that cubby. And there's actually underneath the head unit, there's LED lighting there. So it kind of lights up the dashboard with a soft white LED light, kind of a nice touch as well. Um, I just really think this is a well thought out, well designed head unit. It's not cheap, um, but you get what you pay for. And I think it's a really quality unit. Um, so if you're wondering where to get this, I will have links in the description. Uh, you guys can check those out. I bought everything from Crutchfield. It was full price, but their customer service, their inclusion of every single adapter, port, everything else that you need to make this happen is really helpful. And I've been buying my stuff from them for years. Hopefully that helps you guys if you were looking for a head unit. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about this thing on Instagram. So I figured why not make a video, uh, show you guys how this thing works, what it looks like when you're driving. And uh, yeah, I think this is probably one of my favorite things that I've done to this truck in terms of everyday usability, having features and taking this truck that's from 2006 and making it feel like a new truck. So I have, you know, everything that I would have in a new truck, but in an 06 package. So thank you guys so much. I'll be doing more videos every week. So check back and hope to see you then.